Tonight, China is already preparing for the worst. U.S. officials tell CNN Beijing is putting missile-capable bombers and other military aircraft on, quote, high alert. This as more than 1,000 U.S. troops team up with South Korean forces for Operation Max Thunder, one of the largest military exercises between the two countries. As tensions with North Korea boil over, Kim Jong-un vowing to meet U.S. threats of a preemptive strike. An op-ed in a North Korean state newspaper warns, quote, our preemptive strike towards U.S. and its followers will be the most merciless strike, aiming for a complete destruction that doesn't allow for the survival of the enemies. If the super-powerful strike goes forward, they add, the U.S. mainland will be completely destroyed in an instant. Only ashes will be left. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says the Trump administration is trying to force North Korea to the negotiating table for a political solution to the crisis. We're reviewing all of the status of North Korea, both in terms of state sponsorship of terrorism, as well as all the other ways in which we can bring pressure to bear on the regime in Pyongyang to re-engage, but re-engage with us on a different footing than the past talks have been held. It's never worked before, but U.S. officials say the strategy hinges on China putting the pressure on Kim's regime. Beijing has already banned imports of North Korean coal and stopped Air China flights to Pyongyang. And today, China supported a tough U.N. Security Council resolution condemning North Korea's missile tests. Now President Trump wants President Xi Jinping to limit trade and cut oil imports to North Korea in exchange for a better trade deal with the U.S. All this chest slumping on our part is probably less designed to influence the North Koreans than it is designed to influence the Chinese, who do not want us disturbing the equilibrium in that part of the world. So maybe we can use this as a lever against them to get them to do more. The North Korean Monitoring Service 38 North warns the country's nuclear test site is, quote, primed and ready. But in an odd development, the group released satellite imagery of what appears to be three volleyball games underway at different locations at the site. Though U.S. officials tell CNN they are still bracing for a nuclear test at any time.